Hey, what's up, YouTube? The Untethered 5.0.1 jailbreak just came out, and it works for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4 CDMA, iPad 1, uh, iPod Touch 3G, and iPod Touch 4G. And I have with me my iPod Touch 4G that I will uh, jailbreak in front of you guys just to show you how to do it properly. So first of all, download Red Snow. Uh, I have a link in the description. Double click on it once it's downloaded. Extract the Red Snow uh, folder right here. Once this is done, double click on the folder and run redsnow.exe. And you have this little window here that will appear. And you have the choice to go to uh, jailbreak or extras. Now, you'll have to click on jailbreak and it says to connect your device to um, to your computer. So I connected my device to the computer and it says to turn it off. So first of all I have to turn off my device like this. This is a very important step and now I'll wait a little bit so it turns itself off completely and once this is done you'll have to put your device into DFU mode. So I'll have to press the power button for uh, five seconds then press simultaneously both buttons for uh, 10 seconds and then release the power button so you'll have the steps uh, written on red snow but let's go so one two three and then I press next then I press the power button for three seconds then I press both buttons for 10 seconds and I continue holding both buttons like this for 10 seconds and in three second seconds I release the power button two one and I release and I keep on holding the uh, home button for another 15 seconds even more so the first time it's normal you have to install some drivers but it'll sh it will work properly anyway so it says no device detected blah 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 just keep on holding the uh, home button like this and now it'll work properly just like this Some, sometimes if you already installed your uh, drivers, DFU drivers on your computer, it, it'll work automatically, but it's supposed to work properly right now. And then now you can release your uh, home button uh, and it'll reboot properly. And now uh, you can select install Cydia, install custom bundle, enable battery percentage or enable multitask gestures. So for now we'll just select install Cydia and enable battery percentage. But the thing is if you already jailbroke in your device and you're on a tether jailbreak for a 5.0.1, you have to unclick install Cydia and unclick enable battery percentage. That is because uh, you, it'll mess up your old jailbreak and uh, it'll install completely a new Cydia and it doesn't work properly. So all you have to do is install Cydia if you never jailbroke in your device or not install Cydia and simply ne t click next if you already jailbroke in your device. So I never jailbroke in my device. I never jailbroke this device so I'll install Cydia and enable battery percentage and I press next and my device should be uh, downloading, downloading the jailbreak data. Perfect. So now my device is jailbroken and I should have Cydia working properly for my iPod Touch, so perfect. And here I have Cydia working perfectly on my iPod Touch 4G um, running on 5.0.1 
and to show you that it's completely untethered um, I will restart it right now and there you go the uh, iPad Touch doesn't get stuck on the Apple logo, so this is really an untethered jailbreak. Thanks for listening, guys. If I helped you, you um, to jailbreak your phone and you liked this video, please feel free to check out my channel and to subscribe or to thumbs up. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.